It's going to be a busy day, so give your mind a chance to rest right now. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if long breathing is comfortable, stick with long breathing. If it's not, you can change the rhythm, but try to stay with the sensation of the breathing all the way in, all the way out. Bring your body and mind into alignment. The body's right here, so bring the mind right here, too. And breathe in a way that puts them both at ease so that they can live together easily. When you meditate, you're creating some harmony between your body and your mind. Otherwise, we tend to squeeze the different breath energies in the body as we think about this and plan that and run around. And don't pay much attention to what it's doing to the body. And as tension builds up in the body, it becomes less and less a pleasant place to be, so the mind goes out traveling around outside. It's like when a family is falling apart. Nobody wants to stay at home. Everybody else finds excuses to go outside. In the meantime, the home gets abandoned, and all kinds of mice and other pests can move in. So you want to make sure that you're right here and everybody's in peace and harmony with one another inside. All your thoughts that would pull you away, just let them go. Let them go. You don't have to get involved with them. You don't have to fight them off. Just ignore them. This is time for the mind and the body to have some time for themselves. And we're using them all the time, so it's good to let them have some time for themselves so they can get, get along together. And then as you're using them, try to maintain this sense of being sensitive to what the body needs in terms of the breath energy. Because breath energy is free. And yet we deprive ourselves of this free resource all too often. So if you think of the breath energy as being smooth coming in, smooth going out, going down your legs, going down your arms, it's a good place to be. Everything gets into harmony. This is a good symbol for how we can live together with one another. You listen to one another and are not quick to take offense. Now we can live together. The Buddha gives four qualities for living together. One is being generous. The second is speaking kindly. The third is doing actual things that are helpful for the other people. And then the fourth is consistency. This applies inside as well as outside. You give the body and mind some time. You speak to the mind of good things, like being concentrated, being mindful. You're not telling it to do all sorts of things based on greed, aversion, and delusion. You actually work for the benefit of the body and the mind. And you're consistent. You stick with each other. And this way you learn good lessons inside for how you treat other people outside so that everybody gets along. Because when people fall apart, when a community falls apart or a country falls apart, the things it could build and things it could do just don't get done. And with things that have been constructed get destroyed. So if you want to build some true happiness inside, learn how to keep the body and mind together. If you want to build happiness in a community, learn to be kind in your words, generous, actually working for the benefit of other people, and consistent in your help. This way everybody gets along, and when everybody gets along outside, it's a lot easier for you to get along inside. So think of harmony as an important principle to hold to all the time. Because that's how things get built and that's how things get preserved, It's by everybody acting together. In the same way you, you build your concentration, you preserve your concentration by acting together inside. So take lessons from outside to apply inside, take lessons from inside to apply out. This way you can have harmony all around. <laughs>